When it blinks, squeaks and beeps, it's time for art. Electronic art. The festival Ars Electronica in the Austrian city of Linz hosts top-notch artists and scientists who deal with the future of our world and our society. If you couldn't make it in 2017, take a look around with us. In their Light Barrier series, a team of Korean and British artists create holograms in the fog, three-dimensional structures consisting only of light. It's an award-winning show and it tells the story of the circle of life from birth to death and rebirth. This artist from South Korea wants to bring you back into the womb. Through tiny speakers pressed into your body, you feel the sounds of your surroundings, an experience said to be close to what a baby hears in its mother's body. Sometimes machines learn from humans. This organ is like a parrot. It attempts to repeat the sounds and phrases its human masters is teaching it. Das ist falsch gesungen. Art forces us to think outside the box, to question whether what industry tells us is possible with technology is really all we can do, or whether we can do other things. It's not the job of art to explain technology, but it can help us understand the importance and consequences of technology. And maybe it can help us to become more self-confident in the way we approach these technological developments. This is to remind us that robots can be a danger to society and the world, like the renegade computer in the Terminator films. But there are also robots like this one. Meditative shapes are slowly being created out of string, spanning a room. It's to remind us to do nothing from time to time. The festival Ars Electronica normally occupies multiple venues in the city of Linz. One of the most impressive is the Marion Don the huge cathedral in the city centre. This year it hosted an immersive performance of light, video art and drones, created by two Taiwanese artists. With images from their show L'Enfant, we say goodbye and look forward to next year's festival, showing us the future of our world and society through today's arts. <laughs>